individualized our baseline design compared with the new design as you remember we had uh, calling out the main components that we suspect that they're gonna be changing in the system and we mentioned that it's not very important to call out the baseline design only the components that are expected to be changed and uh, in a new design we call out each component that is considered as a crucial change point component and I add extra step of coloring all the confirmed components to be changed along the way so as we said we will have the PCB to change based on the projection assembly introduction to the system and uh, biometric sensors will not be changed in that case steel enclosure we assume to have a dimensional change touch screen we have a design or a dimensional change as well so with that being done you are ready to move to your hierarchy diagram and change comparison list but again i'm emphasizing that you can create a new tab for visualization if needed in this case the circuit board is not very clear so uh, doesn't hurt if you make a dedicated tab for the circuit board and you just talk more about it and call out the components that could be changing in case let's say you are changing the processor in this circuit then you want to call out that processor and uh, mention the new design that you're adding a new processor or you're adding a new uh, uh, category to that circuit and so on and it's always helpful to call out each component in the circuit and color in red the components that are changing between the past and the new design but I'm not gonna do it here just for the sake of explanation I thought it would be helpful for you guys to walk you through this and of course remember you have a hardware DRBFM you can have always electrical DRBFM software DRBFM and uh, you go kind of deep dive into those electrical components and uh, uh, all the electrical properties of these components and concerns that could show up in the future in this way you capture as much details as possible so now we have those uh, red tagged components those are our changes we're going right away to our hierarchy diagram in our hierarchy diagram I already wrote uh, for the favor of time uh, some details in here so in your hierarchy diagram, let me unfreeze the cells here so that we can uh, slide right and left freely. So in your hierarchy diagram, so you have your system. You need to mention the system and lead department and uh, related engineer who's taking care of that. In this case, we have a projection smartwatch. We're assuming names here, Joe Winston from uh, Company X who's producing smartwatches and he is um, an engineering manager there. What are the components related to the projection smartwatch? In this case, we have a smart 123, which is the whole assembly of the smartwatch, as you can notice here. So the whole assembly of the smartwatch is included under the uh, projection smartwatch department. Uh, led by Joe Winston in this case. Then you have the responsible department engineer for assembly parts So we split it into three components watch product design Those are handling some of the components that we mentioned in our visualization. We have the electrical design department and uh, We have the product innovation or the R&D department So prediction smartwatch we said it's holding the the whole assembly. It's overlooking the whole product and we said uh, we have a baseline of smartwatch and a new projection smartwatch so it doesn't hurt to put some pictures here just for delivering your story f for the design review members and uh, for the watch for the watch product design we have somebody called Tony Allen from the same company and he's the design lead under the watch product design those are the components coming under that we have a b c and d from our explorative view so those are references from explorative view we have the crown design touchscreen design steel enclosure and uh, biometric sensors implementation and remember you can list everything you mentioned in your visualization either you list everything about your component and list it back as well in hierarchy diagram or you focus on the change points so in this case biometric sensors we assume they are staying the same you can ignore that and showing only the components that are tagged in red but for the sake of explanation i put it in but those are dash we will not compare any old and new design because they are exactly identical in this case 
Okay. So the overall, that's the main emphasis that you're having or the main change. Going between base and new design, you're adding a projection system. The watch will be able to project whatever on screen on hand and interactively to the customer. So the crown, there's no change. Touch screen, there is a dimensional change. So you put the category of change, dimensional change. You can say it was, uh, um, uh, I don't know, 20 millimeters by uh, 20 millimeters by 10 millimeters in thickness it became in the new design 20 uh, by 19 by 9 so that's the dimensional change happened steel enclosure as well the same thing if the if the change is visually clear and obvious then you can put down the pictures as well Steel enclosure, same thing. You put uh, whatever dimensions you have here and the new dimensions between the past and the new design. We said biometric sensors are not changing. So it's fine if you don't mention it at all. And uh, Okay, now we're finished with our uh, design category. Like we have um, the touch screen, steel enclosure, biometric sensors. We have um, the crown. If we go back to the hierarchy, we continue in our process. We have the electrical design and electrical design. We have the PCB that's uh, being handled, let's say, by that company, by the electrical design department led by Sally Smith from the same company who's an electrical engineer. What is being changed here? We're changing the design feature. So the PCB is going from uh, design A into design B. I mean, that's only for demonstration, but in reality, I don't think PCB can be tackled in one line in Excel sheet. I would say there's a hundred lines for each component in that PCB need to be handled, but you can tell the, the main change since it's a mechanical DRBFM and put all the details in the, D, in the electrical DRBFM uh, that you're going to do as well. And eventually we have the third department, which is a product innovation um, led by Jack Hassel, who is a product development scientist in that company. And uh, that's F, projection assembly. We are changing design feature. In this case, the old design, there's none, but there is the new design. In this case, you just list the new design. Uh, just to be able to show, probably you go back and to the explode view, if you remember, and you show your projection assembly here. Uh, just for the sake of explanation, you can uh, put the design in here. Of course, you want to work with the cells so that it will encapsulate whatever you're mentioning here. So that's the, your new design in this case. Then with that being said, you will be ready to go to your function list. As you remember, function list is a uh, same kind of structure for the hierarchy diagram or the change comparison list. So you can uh, probably copy those all the way here and uh, Put them down in uh, in your function list in this case so that's our function list you can go right here paste it down so that's your function list now you want to start to put what is the difference between for each component what is the basic function and what is the uh, additional functions for that component 